Hey there, so it's Sebastian from Matt and Seb. Now, if you haven't already, go ahead onto Facebook and just like our page for some more tips and tricks like this one. You can also go ahead and download our free presets in the link just above. So we're going to be editing black and white photos today, and we're going to be going for something like this or in this style here. So very simply, we're going to start off with our normal photo, and we're going to desaturate it completely. We're then going to add some high contrast. Usually around plus 50 is a good place to start. Then we're going to get our highlight slider and actually drop the highlights to about minus 50 just to save the highlights a little bit. Then we're going to get the shadows, boost up the shadows to about plus 50 to save some of the detail in the shadows. And then we're going to get the black slider and drop the blacks down to about minus 45, minus 50. That's going to really crush the blacks and give us some cool contrast. And then we're going to add a little bit boosting in the whites, which is going to make that slightly brighter around sort of the cat's shoulders and the woman's shoulders there. Okay, so now I'm going to come down to the tone curve, and we're going to work a bit on putting the uh, S curve in to give it a little bit more clarity. So we're going to drag up the slider here, make it an S curve. We're then going to drop and crush those blacks just a tiny bit there, uh, and then bring up the mid-tones a little bit as well. You can also uh, fade off the highlights like that, and you can also fade off the shadows like this just by dragging it up like that and that gives a cool soft fade. So once we've done the tone curve we're going to come all the way down to detail. I'm going to add a little bit of noise reduction to smooth this whole image out. Then you can actually add a little bit of vignetting as well. Not too much, you want to go for about minus 8. And we're going to add a tiny bit more just with the graduated filter like that. So that's uh, an exposure or dropping the highlights minus 76. Uh, you can also do the same down here and up in this corner here. So that's it done there. One thing that would be cool to do is come onto the brush tool, clear the whole brush tool, and just sort of add in some highlights on the hair like that as well. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, go ahead and download these free presets and like us on Facebook. We'll see you in the next tutorial.